people use all kinds of things as a crutch for their nervousness. And what happens with a crutch? It becomes fairly obvious. Like the person who holds onto the chair until their knuckles turn white and they break their arms off the chair. Remember when you took driving uh, lessons, right? <laughs> you held onto that steering wheel and you're so afraid you're going to crash. Your hands just got so tight on the thing. People use crutches all the time and a lot of people will hold onto the podium. Have you ever seen that? Where they grab onto the podium and they just cannot break away from that podium. So one of the good ways of moving is having a flip chart. So you have to move over here to write on the flip chart. If you have a slide presentation, a video presentation, uh, an audio machine that you have to turn on, you can move over here to exhibit whatever it is you're trying to exhibit. If you happen to have props that you're using, that's terrific. Like when I reached over to get the newspaper, I had to move, I had to lean down. And what is more natural than showing people something? I mean, we're doing that all the time. We're always saying to somebody, oh, did you see the new da-da-da-da-da-da? You know, we show them how it works. Oh, you know, let me show you how to hit the tennis ball. Let me show you, oh no, you didn't put that in the cupboard just right. Let me show you, it's supposed to go on the third shelf, second to the left. You know, we're always showing people something that we want them to learn. So by showing people, by sharing with people, you're automatically moving. And everybody who's heard of the term proxemics knows that what it means is you move towards people. When you're interested, as I'm really interested in this lady, I move towards her, all right? I want to share something with her, so I move towards her. Fortunately, she's kind enough to accept my uh, coming close to her like that. And that becomes a very natural thing. 